Galatians 1 verse 3, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ who gave himself for our sins to deliver us from the present evil age according to the will of God our Father to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. It is astonishing that it's, it's, uh, the, the words are so up, so clear, in your face kind of thing saying that Jesus Christ, the Lord Jesus, gave himself our sins to deliver us from the present evil age. You know, God called this the age that we're living in now as evil age. So we better know something about this age. Do not think that this is a this is the entertaining age. This is a uh, this is a comfortable age. This is a pleasure age. Whatever we can get out of it, let's try to grab out of it. But the overall description from the scripture, we need deliverance. We live in an age where, whereby we need deliverance. We need to be delivered from this age. Okay, so it's not a good age. We need to be delivered. Have you, have you ever seen the word delivered? When you need deliverance, that means you're in trouble. <laughs> you are trapped. Then God sent his, uh, his army to deliver you. You know, like people in hostages, the army coming to deliver you. We are in hostage, if you like. Exactly, spiritually, that's correct. We are, we are in bondage. So God sent His own Son to deliver us, set us free. So bring us back to, to His kingdom, okay? To His kingdom and to the, His glory and His joy and freedom. And all that is He has promised that He will bring us in. Okay, so we actually live, we live in an incredible age, considering not many people call it as is. To be able to call it out in this way, it is, it is, uh, it is quite substantial. It is, it is amazing. It's, it's substantial. Okay. So, let me read the commentary from NIV. Okay, see, the saving work of Christ on the cross. Is in the forefront of Paul's mind and therefore shows up here at the very beginning of the letter. Jesus not only saves Christians from their sins, but also set them free from being slaves of this world. Do you know that? We're in slavery in bondage to the to the sins of this world. And God actually says, Jesus came to set us free from the slavery, the bondage. Now you may say, the, what, what slavery are we talking about here? I'm moving around freely. I, you know, the kids play softball, you know, what a beautiful weather. I can do pretty much what I want. That's true. But your, your freedom is a, such, a, such a low level freedom, the real freedom, you know, because, because our desires, we are in bondage to want to satisfy our inner desire which is so so downtrodden so depraved that we need deliverance from ourselves because we're so bound out in sins you know our our harmful desires our selfishness our greed our lust all this we are in bondage to and God can and will and he wants to set us free from being slaves of the world we are slaves of the world in that sense okay Paul really explained that in wanting to be under the law the Galatians are effectively wanting to stay anchored in the present evil age okay so that is from NIV so that's quite a bit now